YouTube, I'm FG Productions, and exactly how fast is Nintendo's new Nintendo Switch console? Now, it's not exactly super new, and it's not like this hasn't been debated before, but I have a pretty good idea of how fast it is. I've had experience with the Nintendo Switch and its predecessor, along with another device that uses the same exact GPU-CPU combo, so I think I have a pretty good idea of how fast it is at this point. And I'm also going to do a little bit of comparing between your iPhone and some tablets. Anyway, Anyways, let's get into the video. So obviously with the Nintendo Switch, we know that it is a fast device. It runs games that look really good. And we know it's faster than the Wii U, because the Nintendo Switch runs the same games as the Wii U, but at a higher resolution and often at a higher graphic fidelity, meaning it uses better graphics and runs the same games. So we are certain that it is faster than the Wii U. But is it faster than the Xbox 360 or the PS3? Well, we know that the Wii U's GPU is faster than both the Xbox 360 and the PS3's GPUs, and we also know that the Wii U's CPU is also much worse than the Xbox 360's and the PS3's. So where does that leave us with the Switch? Well, we know that the Switch must have a better GPU than both the Xbox 360 and the PS3, but what about the CPU? Well, I did some digging and it turns out that the PS3 CPU obliterates both the Xbox 360 and the Switch. It runs at 3.2 gigahertz compared to the Switch's 1.2 gigahertz. However, the Switch which CPU is comparable to the Xbox 360's. I couldn't find the exact speed that the CPU ran at. However, I know that the Xbox 360 has three cores compared to the four cores in the Switch. However, we know that the Nintendo Switch's CPU definitely has something over both the PS3 and the Xbox 360 CPUs, and that is a 20 nanometer architecture. Basically, a 20 nanometer architecture just means that the transistors in the actual CPU are much smaller. It definitely helps with performance, but we definitely know that the PS3 CPU is is faster and that the Xbox 360 and the Switch's CPUs are comparable. But overall, we definitely know that the graphics on the Switch are definitely better than both the Xbox 360 and PS3, and a lot of people would argue that that matters more than CPU power. So really, it is debatable, but most people would say that the Switch is more powerful than the PS3 and the Xbox 360. It runs at a higher resolution, especially when docked, and to be honest, the games look fantastic. And this is all on a console way smaller than both the Xbox 360, the PS3, or even the Wii U. Not only is it smaller, it only uses one fan and that fan is much quieter. So let's get into the next part of this video. In the next part of this video, I want to answer the question, is your Switch faster than your smartphone? Well, I can definitively say that the Switch is, yes, much faster than your smartphone, and I'm going to tell you why. To start off, let's talk about how your smartphone gets rid of heat generated by the processor. Pretty much every smartphone these days has no fan and is completely passively cooled, which means it only uses a heat sink. The iPhones use their body as a heat sink. The entire thing is made out of aluminum, and that aluminum does a great job of getting rid of the heat that is generated by the processor. There are quite obvious reasons you wouldn't want a fan in a smartphone. It would be extremely easy to break, but in a larger game console, you're not really going to be taking it every single place you go and you're not going to be dropping it a lot. But fans do a really good job of getting rid of heat. And the faster your processor is, the more heat it's going to generate. So basically, the main reason that the Nintendo Switch is way faster than your smartphone and uses a very similar processor is because the Nintendo Switch's processor is overclocked and has a very good cooling solution. I'm explaining this in very general and loose terms. You could Google it and get really in-depth with this kind of stuff. But that's the basics. So far, I think the Nintendo Switch has done a really good job of showing us how far technology has has come and has shown us basically that every new generation of consoles we get we get a set of handhelds that are as fast as the previous generation anyways thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i know it wasn't a normal kind of minecraft video but it's still kind of tech related and handheld uh, gaming related so i thought it would fit on my channel anyways yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time and goodbye